Hello. I just got back from a walk. Maybe you saw the video. Oh, in my timeline, my current timeline. <laughs> the video I just recorded of walking to the mailbox for this package just went up. So, uh, yeah. Gonna dig in. We got some topsies. This comes from another viewer and friend on Facebook, his name is Jacob, made me a really good trade offer. So good that I am, I'm gonna have to add more to it. Let's see, digging everything out of here, trying not to show addresses or anything. Got some foamy, foamy stuff. Cool. All right, Jacob, what all have you sent me? I know we've got some top Bs in here. That was the trade. He just wanted a green mini vert. I mean, this is a great slider, but I like metal. This is metal. And I really like the top B in titanium. This is titanium. But what makes that one even cooler than this one, this one's number 103. The one in here is number 119. My birthday is 11-9, so, and I also, I see the numbers 11-9 at, like, a freakishly high frequency. Daily. I see the time. So this is a cool, like, little resin thing. Is this, is this low? I got a UV light here. Let's see. It does. So this looks familiar, but I'm also not familiar enough to know who made this. This is really cool. Jacob, thanks, man. Tell me you were sending me some extras. Log jotter. Make a story. Oh. Page prompts. This is cool. Thanks, man. I actually really love journaling, so this is nice. The... I'm not going to flip through it. I need to unpack, too. I've got this guy that I use for... Uh, journaling and note taking. So this is nice. This is a, very cool. Thank you. I like that it's got some prompts. This thing's just like a grid. So sometimes I'm feeling a little blank. A little prompt can get the brain going sometimes. So I guess you saw up here too. He sent me a copper triangle to check out. I had mentioned that I never had one. So I mean, Jacob, can can I send you all these? Maybe anything else I can find? You like this? Have you ever had a CP3? This is obviously not a real CP3, but it's a really good fidget, honestly. I know. We'll we'll talk later before I send all this back to you with the with the triangle. But those are on the table. Okay, let's get into. I think I might. I'm gonna give this just a little rip real quick. I'm just gonna feel it, but this is gonna be a video about top beats. I'm gonna make a separate video for this after I have spent a little bit of time with it. Oh no, I got some fuzz stuck to my finger. <laughs> Maybe it was stuck to the bag. I hope it didn't get stuck in the bearing. That would be a nightmare. So let's see, first triangle I've handled. This is the, the V2 triangle in copper. It's got the not flat buttons, so we've got two steps, and then it's got the little re extra relief cuts. So this is the first triangle I've got to see. Man, it is the same size as the Amerilis. I've wondered if I should have gotten the tungsten um, triangle a couple times. So it's kind of making me think I should. <laughs> and I should, maybe should at least experience it. Hmm. Okay. So I'm going to put this away. Hopefully I've retained enough of you. Put that up to the side. Let's see, we've got some extra balls and springs and some of the glue there. Some extra slide tape. Let me just take all this out. Why not? I like the stickers. I actually put them on stuffs. That one's really cool. Some rainbow effects. I'm gonna put it in my case over here. Um, 
Man, also going to unpack real quick. Had the tungsten micro S, tungsten flux, superconductor top C. This is why I wanted to unpack. Had another bubble here. Spear wrapped. Try to carry things out of my norm today. Okay, let me even put this. I'm gonna put this in my desk drawer, even. So it's out of the way and safe. I do not want to ding your fidget. Anyone's fidget, even my fidgets. <laughs> nice. So yeah, there's also the PEI in here. He said he really liked the the feel of them combined, but it's just not really for him. And I get that. The top B wasn't for me for the longest time either. This actually feels really nice though. There's pretty good ZZ haptics coming through the um, the Ultim plate here. So just because I like, what you call it? All metal. And this is actually quite loud. We're gonna do some swapping. First thing here. This one's gonna stay as it is. This one. It's got the Teflon plates. It's a really good volume level for me. This thing is really, it hurts my ears. That's crazy how loud that is. That the Ultim is just, just smacks. And this feels really good. but it's right there on the verge of too loud for my ears. It's crazy, man. Can't believe how, how sensitive my ears are sometimes. Hearing damage and tinnitus, man. Oh, I need to put this protective piece up here. Got a bunch of these coming in a accessory pack from Metal Toys because I really want to get some polished top bees, maybe some different materials, and uh, <laughs> stonewash them, tumble them, make them not slippery anymore, because I feel like they could really, I mean, they could be awesome like that. Whew, man, that thing's loud. So, I mean, yeah, man, I, I love this. This titanium one is super special. The Ultim one, maybe we can, we'll figure something out. I can honestly say I, it's, it's just too, it's loud. It's too loud for me and my dang ears. So let's just open this up. Sorry, I'm focusing really hard here. What kind of setup do we got going on? Oh, cool. This looks like one of the kind of setups that I would do. Those little brass cups wanting to come out of its spot. <laughs> there it is. Oh, interesting. This brass cup is different than the one that I have, too. It's a slightly different shape. And I can't get it to seat all the way. Why is that? Oh, this is a long spring. Very long spring. Let's see if I can get it to seat. Oh, well, it does fine that way. Let me 
Okay. Guess I don't need that there. I wonder, this has got me thinking, how does an Ultim plate with a titanium body sound? That will surely mute it some, right? I'll have to. Experimenting on the fly. See one thing, this doesn't have the uh, the tape on it, and it sure does slide like it. Titanium really doesn't like to slide on itself, and the Ultim definitely doesn't like to seem to want to slide on the titanium. Okay, so. I am going to put all the Ultim over here. I'm gonna take apart this part very gently, I might add. I am so afraid of threads on Ultim. Oh, I've personally stripped them, making the buttons. Okay. So we got brass cup, brass cup, no brass cup, tall springs, short springs. I see. Is there any kind of, nope. Looking for any kind of frosting or anything here. Sorry if you can hear the fly buzzing around. I've got the door open today and it just found its way in. These are very good threads in Ultim, but I'm still terrified of them. <laughs> this thing is literally doing laps around my head. Well, you know, that feels pretty good. Okay. Yeah, that's not bad. Hands are a little sweaty. Hang on. It's a little... I mean, it's warm today. It just, just is, I guess. Definitely stiff, a little hard on my ears. Okay, so I'm gonna get into the goods here. Yeah. I do wanna take a peek at some of these other springs maybe. It's a conical spring. That's a conical spring. What else we got here, actually? This is also a conical spring. And this one was not, if I recall. Yup. And then this little bag. Looks like there might be three of the standards. Have one hiding in here. 
Those look to be the same on each corner. I don't want to change that. A little mix and match session, okay. That is what is so great about these, honestly. Or is that conical? It might be. It's definitely a little taller than all the other ones. Just a smidge taller. Might have someone come and say hey in a second. I feel like I heard the gate, maybe. We'll just say hey together if someone comes, walks in here, right? <laughs> Sometimes people, people feel awkward whenever they pop in on my videos, but I really don't, I don't mind. So it looks like, ah, this coil is just gotten a little bit tightened on itself. So, I mean, man, enough that I can't get this brass cup to, oh, there it goes. I got it a seat there. And while I'm at it, I really like ceramic. Ceramic balls are great. These should be three millimeter. That was easy. Put on the ZZ plate. Uh, I didn't put on the sticker. That's okay. We'll see how it feels. I can tell that one spring is Maybe I can't. Let's get these screws on. Final say. Let's see, I feel like on the one Osmond sent me, it had a ZZ plate, right? But then it had the nylon balls in it instead of ceramic. And that was a pretty sweet tune that we decided we both liked. Why do these threads feel weird? Huh. They were a little stiff to get out. Hopefully it's not stripped. I say the ZZ plate definitely felt better with the um, the PEI bottom. I mean, I totally, Jacob, I totally see what you're saying about the um, the feel of that. Definitely had a cool feel, but it, uh, yeah, the volume level of the Ultim, it got me. Why does that one feel a little tough? Those threads look okay. And those threads look okay. Huh. Okay. And now... Dive back in. I'm going to take a look at my top C springs. Okay, we've got ceramic balls. Where did one roll away to? There it is. Got 
the steel balls. This spring that is maybe stretched or something. I just don't, I don't like it. Now, of course, I'm having to stretch it to get the cup off, but it, um, let's see if I can show this. It's a, uh, the spring is taller than the rest of them that are paired with it. So I'm going to look through all mine here and see if I have one. I'm really not sure if I have any of the appropriate ones. That looks similar. No, 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 no. Let's look at these guys and maybe one of these. Could this be it? Also on the taller side. I must think these springs are are they the same? Sure do look the same. One's a little darker in color. This this one is not conical. Sorry for this. Uh, I don't know. Am I sorry for this? This is what my content is. I'm tinkering. Now that I've got those out, there's the two brass cups. Here's the original springs. Well, that one's totally different too. So let's put two of these in here that I know are the same, that they both match. They both fit a brass cup. Let's see, I say that before I even stick the second one in. They do. Push it down in place. Make sure. Other brass cups. Forgot about these springs. What are these guys? All jumbled together. Okay, these are not conical. Let's see. Oh, I gotta stick the plate on. Plastic on. amazed that I like that, but I mean, titaniums doesn't slide on itself very well at all. And there's not a lot of material touching that, but this one feels really good. It could be part of the Teflon, but oh my gosh. <laughs> it's probably this too, right? So I don't know which side, I've never applied one of these before. I don't know which side's sticky and I don't know which side to peel. I guess it'll just be the red side that comes off. Wow. Okay. Get some assistance in here. Taking a peek at that copper triangle again. There we go. Exacto knives worked really good for what I just did. Peeling off the backing of a sticker, if you've never thought to try. Uh, I'm gonna pull this out of the frame so I can look right down on it. You would not be looking at the back of my head.
hyper intense focus to do that. <laughs> I'm going to actually press on it with something flat in the same shape. Nice. So let's put balls in. I need to find another bag for these springs also. I'm going to start getting too much spread out here, and I'm going to get things lost that I don't want lost. Please hold. I'm gonna put up all those top C springs. I'm gonna put these two random springs from my top C bag that I still don't really know what they go to. They weren't any help for what I was just doing. Now I'm gonna try nylon balls. Osman, if you're watching, this is definitely because of your Zerky Tie Top B that you let me check out. My goodness. This one's dirty, a dirty ball. It's been used before. Still can't believe this is number 119. That's okay. That's still not, it's not like amazing. Okay, now what I want to try, <laughs> I'm going to try the ultimate play again, can't help it. Just the click plate, I don't think the ZZ plate is for me. Definitely didn't like these nylon balls all that much. Unimpressive. Oh, sorry about that. One second. That's my water timer. Drink some now, I guess. So these are the ones that were on the brass cup in the titanium. Very lightweight, for sure. Maybe I need to test and tune it too before I write it off as too loud. Maybe I could find like some kind of ball spring combination that, well, is pleasant. It doesn't hurt my ears. While I'm in here, I'm going to look at all of these springs, because it looks like we have another mixture. Okay, so these are two stiffer non-conicals. Looks like we've got a longer non-conical and a medium non-conical. <laughs> Definitely a little hodgepodge. What are these guys? I know that's Loctite. I know these are, I got three different balls here.
different size balls. These are small. Interesting. Yeah, they are different size. These might be tungsten balls. I need to measure them. Oof, I'm running out of steam with the talking, guys. I'm not even going to lie. I'm tired. Yeah, these are two sevens. So that means these are threes. Yep. So that the slightly smaller top C size. I have a couple more two sevens. I think they're right here. Oh no, these are the 2.7s. Okay, keep that in mind. <laughs> I need to build this thing back up now. Maybe not all the way. First, you come back here. What a mess. We're gonna try ceramic balls. So now we've got the plastic slider. Full Ultim. Even the little stop block or whatever. Because that could be... I don't know if it's going to be louder or quieter than using the metal one. I can't move it. Well, whatever's going on here, it does not work. I'm gonna try it with, um... Wait, what was that? That seems to work. Pushing it down. Totally bound up. Doesn't even move. Maybe that's the ultim on the on the sticker plate. Gonna make sure it's not a tolerance stacking thing. With um, maybe with this. So maybe the Ultim plate is sandwiching down too far and clamping the Ultim plate, the click plate, to the titanium body. No. This doesn't, it doesn't move. Huh. I wish I was spending more time fidgeting and not freaking fiddling <laughs> gets a little old sometimes let's see let's see let's see I'm gonna put this back together like this Does everything still function I didn't like mess something up right that would be insane if I did Yeah, I mean, that works. No problem. Okay, so I'm curious how changing the center block here might could change it. This has got to do something to the noise level, I would assume. Or at least the tone that it produces.
So we've got stainless steel block hitting stainless steel slide plate. Yep. This is my favorite setup so far. Yeah, I'm gonna put some screws in it right now. And we're gonna leave it there. With what I've got in front of me, I can't imagine liking one more than that. With my current plate options and everything here. I think the Peak and the Teflon click plates are gonna be my jam. So it got me back into the top C. There's just something about the metal all metal setups that are just okay so so not not the greatest i don't know what it is okay let's dive back into this thing what is that noise outside looks like i have four of these springs that are not conical, and I have a couple. Am I just blocking the view with my head? I don't even know. I'm sorry. I got to get down here close and look at all these, though. This is like a shorter, not conical spring. Is it just like that one? Ah, oh, did I find its pair? Same height. Aha, okay. So I just don't know where this guy came from. This spring is very different from almost all the others. And I'm not sure which ball size to try. I have a couple 2.7s. All of these look like threes. Let's go with the threes first, since there's no brass cups in this thing. What could be really cool? I don't know if I have them, though. Could be some um, three millimeter glass balls. Uh, where did I? Huh, I'm not sure where the rest of my glass balls went. I thought I had, like, a handful of them. Oh, well. Yeah, it's not bad. It's a little stiff. Can't imagine with these rings in it. Be really stiff. I think I got some bags messed up here. Must have. That's okay. Let me measure these two balls here. <laughs> 39 minutes of tinkering and tuning. Mm -hmm. Oh, these are 2.4s. These are small, small balls.
those are all three. 2.7. Huh, where did that one bag go? Totally lost it. It was the one with the, uh, well, what had all the little parts in it to start with. I guess it got mixed in with everything else. It's not mixed in with the top C stuff. Sometimes I just, I wish I could just cut a video sometimes and be like, I'm sorry. We're done. But that's just not the style. I gotta, I'm gonna keep on going. That's pretty good. Still like the Teflon click plate more. I'm probably going to go as crazy as to later to swap all the internals of it over to this one. <laughs> so I've got the number 119 and the exact setup that I want. Not going to do that on camera. That's going to take too long. But I am going to continue on with all these here. So I don't know what these are doing in this current setup. This is going to be my new bag for things top B and for th this particular top B. Okay, got those four springs in there. Got these three millimeter balls, three three millimeter balls. No. Yeah, it just needs to be a little easier to operate. So I'm gonna first do that by just removing two of the balls. Maybe the ones on the taller springs go down to 2.7, smaller diameter, less distance between click plate and spring. So there's less spring preload. Huh. Well, you've got to see me come full circle. Anybody that's made it 43 minutes into a testing video. <laughs> yeah, this is actually pretty cool. I'm a little bummed I couldn't figure out how to get the um the Ultim click plate to work in the titanium body, but it just wouldn't it wouldn't slide with the sticker on. And I only have the one sticker, so that's kind of where I am right now. It is ridiculous how similar these two tunes are. I mean, they like sound the same. nearly the same. I don't know why this Ultim, just on this side, seems a little hazy. Maybe it's just the, the plate. I think it is mostly the plate. It's a click plate. Well, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. This has been a long one. Jacob, I'll send you a message. Can't believe there's no way you're still listening, but thank you. Thank you.
we'll we'll make this as even as possible thanks for watching guys see ya